Hello and welcome back to the channel. So, a little less than 24 hours ago, I brought you a video saying that there had been an update on Taxi Live for the PC. That update, I think, has dropped on uh, Xbox and PlayStation. Um, just turned on my console and we've had an update. Everything that I said that was on that uh, PC patch seems to be here on the console patch as well. Um, now, I said in that PC update video that the screeching has stopped on the vehicles. Now, I've got several vehicles uh, in my garage. Now, I've jumped in this one because this is the one that I used on the PC and there is no screeching. But uh, if I go into uh, management and I look at the, the Sedna there, um, I drove that uh, when the update dropped and I still got screeching uh, on the tyres. Now, why are you going on about screeching, Lee? All we're bothered about is wheel support. There's no wheel support still on console, so let's get that out of the way. Um, everything else, so AI improvements, language stuttering fix, traffic law uh, adherence, illumination adjustments, floating AI vehicles, management issues, and minor fixes. Uh, they're all the same as they were in the PC version. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump in this SMC. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to release that driver. Um, just just makes it easier for us to uh, change vehicle. And then what we'll do, we'll slam on our brakes like so. And we will hit that button there and we will get a tow uh, to the garage where we can uh, swap our vehicle over. I'll just quickly, briefly jump over here like so. I will go through all the patch notes in full shortly. Uh, let's go to cars. There we go. So we own... that. Those two are assigned at the moment. So let's... Oh, blimey, O'Reilly, I'm doing this completely wrong, aren't I? Back into the garage, Lee. Cars, there we go. Right, so I want to drive that one. So set that one as active. Right, so let's go out in this. And let's see if the wheels screech uh, in this one as well. So let's start her up. Stick it in reverse. First of all, let's take that handbrake off. Right, so. Reverse round. Keep reversing round. There we go. Excellent. Stick it in drive. So the wheel screech on this one. Let's have a look. It's still there, but it's not as bad uh, as it is in the Sedna. The Sedna is still really bad for wheel screech. Obviously, as you uh, increase in power, uh, the worse it's going to get. So anyway, uh, what does the update actually do? Uh, so as I said, no wheel support. Uh, still for console uh, so fixes have been applied to both cars AI and pedestrians so fingers crossed now um, the vehicle AI is a lot better and the AI pedestrians aren't going to step out in front of you uh, language stuttering fix so this is mostly uh, for uh, Japanese Korean simplified and traditional Chinese languages uh, that's what was covered there. The frequency, of, the frequency of AI drivers ignoring red lights has been reduced as well, uh, promoting a safer and more alive, a law-abiding city environment. Uh, illumination adjustment. So what that generally means is, if we uh, stick on our lights and put them on, what is that at the back? What's that? I've just put full beam on. Let's just. What is that nonsense? Why are those lights on at the back like that? That's crazy. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, as you put your lights on and you come up to the back of a, I don't know, a white or yellow van, you just put this horrible glare on the back of the vans. And that shouldn't happen anymore. Uh, you won't get that horrible glare uh, coming off some of the vehicles uh, as you uh, approach them. Uh, floating AI vehicles, uh, the occurrence of floating AI vehicles has been reduced. So to me, that means 
They've not completely got rid of it. They've got rid of some of the floating vehicles. Ah, here's a van now. We can come up to the back of this van now, and we shouldn't get as much glare as you can see now, look. Yeah, we could just see the actual headlights in the back of the van, uh, which is a lot better. That's cool, because it was pretty annoying, that was. And they've also had some management fixes as well, which fixed the issue when the player was unable to change employer's starting hour without switching district during shift assignments as well. And some minor fixes to menu navigation. So not an awful lot has been fixed, uh, if I'm completely honest. Um, still the same old map, still the same cars. Um, still the same old taxi life for me. Um, not really been playing an awful lot of it, I'll be honest, I have moved on to other things. As I've said in my sort of initial review of the game, I got my 20, 25 hours out of it, and that's generally me done uh, for this game until we pretty much get some uh, new content, uh, pretty much. I've done everything that I really need to do with it. And yeah, uh, so unless anything really significant changes, I'll bring you some more updates back here on CGD Games uh, with updates, etc. But yeah, update number two is now out for consoles. Check it out um, and have fun with it. So let me know. Uh, are you still playing Taxi Life on console? Are you still enjoying it? Um, nice one, if you are. Uh, and if you're like me, you've moved on to other things by now, let me know down in the comments, I really would appreciate it. But, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, it's really important. If you're new to the channel, possibly consider subscribing. And hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.